Hello everybody, this is Faith from Mini Mimi Thrifter. I'm usually a seller on eBay, Macari, and Amazon. Right now, if you're new to my channel, I am not, my store is not open. It's on vacation mode until we find a home or house burned. It was a total loss. Um, so we're in the process of finding a new home. I want to show y'all my husband's Hot Wheels. He had them all, he had most of them, or a lot of them, in these red totes that close like fingers. And you see over there's orange totes. An orange tote was sitting on top of one of the red totes. And as you can see, the orange tote melted into the red tote. There's Hot Wheels in there. And there's another one there. It just don't have an orange one melted on it. Poor thing, he hasn't brought himself to touch those yet. He's been going through others, but he, he hasn't touched those yet. Oh, okay, so, like I said, we are displaced. We are looking for a home. The last time I made a video, we were talk. I was telling you about how um, we had an inspection uh, coming up on the house that we made an offer on, and it went bad, bad. It looks great. The house looks awesome. I mean, the space was good. It had a, a, an unfinished pole barn we were going to get finished for my husband. It had a small shop. It had a three-car carport. Um, the space inside was great. It had the self-closing cabinets and drawers. And nearly every appliance it was included except for a dryer. So all, I only would have had to buy a, bought a washer. It came with the water softener. So first thing was they found the septic, and the probe just went right through it. It was rusted out. So that was going to have to get replaced. <laughs> We're thinking, okay, we'll negotiate with the, the, the sellers and see if they can, you know, drop the price or get it fixed, whatever. You know, we were going to negotiate and see what would happen. Well, then we find out that the house and the, the carport was completely built wrong. They called it the shear effect or something like that. It was where wood is supposed to touch wood. Wood is supposed to be braced on wood. Okay, the, the, this house in the attic, the whole framing of the house was not built that way. It was wood uh, being held by nails. The supports were held, held only by nails and some of them only had two, maybe three nails. And you can already see from the carport them pulling away. So all that had to be, you know, either replaced or, or you know, fixed as far as, you know, I don't know if they would have had to go on beside it, whatever. So septic, um, the framing of the home and the carport, wrong, bad wrong. And the carport also had um, carpenter bees had holes all in them so that wasn't good we didn't ever notice that you know you just kind of glance you don't and then we started noticing the bees so anyhow carpenter bees um then what else was it um termites he found termites oh yes <laughs> i think this is the last thing um the under the home for the supports, the supports were just in dirt. It wasn't like car concrete pillars or anything. It was just something set in dirt, and you could. He said they were already falling over, and <laughs> um, that they would. It, they called. This is what their words were. They used random items to hold the house up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, people. I don't know. It was so depressing. We were just, we're thinking, okay, septic, okay, okay, you know, but then it just kept compounding. Wait, here's this. Wait, here's this. Wait. The pole barn was the best built thing out there. Depressing. Very depressing. So, oh, let me switch arms. So, needless to say, we backed out of that one. Thank you. God, we got an inspector. Please, people, if you're going to buy a home, unless you are a contractor, 
and you know all the ins and outs of all these things, get your inspection. Don't bypass that to save some money. That was expensive for us as far as because it had a well and a septic. It cost almost $400 more, you know, added on top. So it sucked, but <laughs> it was well worth it. So house hunting, we went again. Um, we put in an offer yesterday. Um, today is, excuse me, today is Saturday the 13th. We put in an offer on another home. They countered. We accepted, of course, contingent on the inspection. So, but the inspection can't go until next Friday the 19th. So we've got a long wait and it's so hard. I hate waiting. I just want to, I just want a home. But, um... Fingers crossed yet again, you know, that this one will go well. We we have a little more hope for this one because the people just bought this home um, Ju July of last year, and they completely renovated it. They, we saw pictures of what it looked like before, and we know what it looks like now because we went through it, and it's gorgeous. And, I mean, they redid everything. And it's kind of a sad situation because the man, the husband, has um like lung cancer and then they found they discovered he's also got prostate cancer and so our assumption is that because of his health issues they are you know downsizing and it's out in the country it's not real far away or anything but i'm assuming maybe they want to be in town closer to the doctors and things like that and you know not to have to care for their property. It's only a one acre. It's not 22 acres like the other home, but um, one acre, it's great. It's got, you know, it's got the space we need. Um, we may buy a shipping container or two for my husband. There is a small shed out there, but because it is out in the country, um, we're just going to grab a couple, you know, one or two shipping containers, and that would be his shop. You know, I, we tried so hard looking for, you know, trying to get one with a garage, and it was always something wrong with them. They, they were very dated, or they stank. They just looked dingy. You know, it's kind of, you know, wash your carpets, at least try, throw a little paint up, wash, wash your dishes <laughs> before somebody comes to your house, wash down the counters. So, um. Yeah, and let me tell you about one house we went to. Oh, I love the property. It was, so oh, I can't remember how many acres. I'm going to say three, three and a half, something like that. And um, we would have probably needed some shipping containers on that one as well. From a, no, there was a, a, a garage. I'll take that back. There was a two-car garage, actually, so my husband was fine. The space was good. We had, yeah, had great space inside for my eBay, so we would not have needed a shipping container. We would have had space outside for a shipping container if needed be, but I don't think we needed it. And it had a little pond. I was getting so excited about a pond. I was just thinking about people coming up and just walking right over there and having a little fish because we saw fish. The water was really uh, clear, and so um, there was fish in there. It was. I was kind of getting excited about that, but this was an odd thing. It was actually a, an old mobile home that they kind of built around it slightly. I'm not exactly sure how they built, how they exactly built it, but they added to the mobile home in like three different directions. And then it, uh, sorry, I thought I saw somebody. And then it, it gave it a new roof because if you're in the, if you were in the garage, you could look up into the attic. You know, it was the attic space door. We opened it because we were trying to turn out the light. We noticed the light was on inside, so we were going to try and turn out the light. Anyhow, when my husband pulled down the stairs to get up in the attic, you could see the top of the mobile home. <laughs> so they they built around it somehow. Um, but And I was okay with that. I didn't care that it was a mobile home. But it was very, very dated. Very dated. The, the bathrooms were tiny. I'm talking the tub looked like a baby tub. And the, the, all the, um, everything was, 
paneling and you, you know you knock on it does the echoing i mean they hadn't even painted it or anything the carpets were very very dirty and old um it had two bathrooms but both of them were very dated it had those plastic doorknobs from old trailers i don't know what years these were but this was old this was not a new mobile home i don't mind mobile homes the, the newer ones are nice this was bad this was really bad so please everybody i done went on for over 10 minutes let me get off here so everybody keep us in your thoughts and prayers and fingers crossed and toes and everything that this inspection goes well i'm going to spend over 800 dollars again for because of the well and the septic although those are pretty much new out there so everything should go well um just like i said keep us in your thoughts and that this will go well and we can get a home Alrighty, everyone, I'm going to let you, I'm going to get off here. Um, hope you're having great sales. Hope you're getting monetized. Everybody have a great day and go out and make yourself proud. Bye-bye.